What's up, pupils? I'm the Nearsighted Gamer. Thanks for coming to see me. And I know it's been a while, but once again, I'm on the way home. You have daylight savings time to thank for me not putting up one of these because the normal time that I usually get, get off and head home, it's been like extremely dark. So I haven't been able to make one, but today, for some reason, well, I know the reason, uh, I'm a little late getting home, so we have daylight, so I decided to go ahead and drop a video because I don't know when until, you know, actual daylight saving time starts that I'll be able to make another one, but enough of that. Today, I want to talk about Super Mario Odyssey and the fact that it is mere days away. That means less than a week, people. Days. And that game is probably going to cause problems in my household. I know between myself, my wife, and my youngest son, the one that beat Zelda Breath of the Wild, by the way, put a video out. Go check that out. He talks about it. Let you know what he thinks as a seven-year-old. It's pretty interesting. Uh, go check that out, please. Thanks. And but I have another son, but he could care less. He'll play it, but he's not going to be as invested as the rest of us are. But myself, as well as the rest of the video game uh, community, is super excited about this game. It's almost here. And everybody's already trying to put it to where it could possibly be Game of the Year. It's definitely going to be a contender for Game of the Year. Because it's Mario, and because of all the things that it does, what it has coming for it you know it's amazing how nintendo can constantly keep reinventing mario games with you know 64 and then galaxy and then uh this as well you know how far can they go what can they do like will mario be stopped hopefully not because i love mario but i'm so excited for this game sadly this is actually one of the games that I wanted to purchase. Don't know if I'll be able to do that, but sadly, it comes out on uh, October 27th, which is a Friday. I more than likely won't get the game until Monday or Tuesday. So I'll have to hear about it for a weekend from people, see videos on YouTube about it, and not be able to play it. But I'll know it's coming. And I don't know what I'll do about it, I'm sure I'll talk about my impressions and let you know what I think about it whenever that happens. So just stay on the lookout for that. I wanted to put this video out because it's been a while since I did one of these and I actually miss it. But Mario Odyssey coming out is the perfect opportunity to, you know, talk to you guys, let you know what I think about it. Uh, as far as anything else that's going on, I'm also currently playing Hellblade, Sin It Was Sacrifice, and it's really cool. I like, I like the, you know, the constant, you know, whispers, what's going on inside her head thing, but, well, there actually is no but, well, there's but, you know, like, repetitive, uh, repetitive gameplay as far as, you know, the fighting, but I can look past that. The story isn't really pulling me in so much as the atmosphere of the game itself. Maybe there's something that's gonna happen soon. Uh, I'd say I'm about like, only a few hours into the game. Uh, I think I beat the first boss, I guess you'd call that. But the atmosphere more so than the story, it has me hooked. Maybe there's something that's gonna happen coming up that's really gonna get me. I mean, I, I know her motivation, I know what she's, going through i know why she's doing what she's doing i know the purpose for her journey but i'm just not invested in it i'm just playing the game to play the game and so it's become one of those games where i'll think about playing it and then i'll think about how the game is and then that kind of deters me from playing it but then when i am playing it i'm loving it one of those types i'm sure y'all know but that's just a really quick update uh that's what's going on this new my odyssey's coming out I'm playing Hellblade, as far as anything new. Uh, I had the same old other things, nothing's going on. Uh, I've had my fill of Splatoon, so I kind of like put that away. I've played Destiny 2, about about had my fill of it. It's fixing to go back. I still did not make a Titan. 
Maybe I'll get to it when the expansion comes out. I don't know. But I see how Destiny is Destiny. It's just more Destiny. It was just new stuff to play. And I've kind of exhausted that because I don't really play the in-game content, which is Trials and the Nightfalls and the Raids. So other than that, I've done pretty much all I feel that I want to do. I'm not really into collecting all the guns. So, you know, I'm slowly but surely inching up my power level. And that doesn't really fuel me as it would most other players of Destiny. And so that's about to go back. Don't know what I want to get for that. But Splatoon's already on the way back to take the place for Mario Odyssey. So I will see you guys whenever that comes out. It is in my hand and I have played it. And you will see one of these on my face. Thanks for watching. I'm the Nearside of Gamer. Like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, like it anyway because I said so. Follow me on Twitter at Nearside of Gamer, G A M R. I have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash G A M R. I've been kind of silent there and on Twitter, but you can still you follow me and like those, you know, just in case. Not just in case, but you know, to keep up with it because I promise I'm going to get back to more. I got more things that I really want to do. I'm just slacking on it. I apologize for that. Uh, YouTube.com slash Nearside of Gamer. If you're already here, then just go ahead and subscribe. It takes one second. Anyway. That's all, and I guess until next time, be excellent to each other. See you, pupils.